everybody, yes, it's Pitya, and welcome back to another tutorial. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Uh, I'm so sorry for the delay of tutorials and videos. Uh, I'm just, I'm really busy with college right now, so it's been a pain in my butt. But um, yeah, I'm here today to talk to you guys about CFS, the Ultimate Alpha Designer plugin. Um, I wanted to bring this to your guys' attention because this is actually so sick. Um, and this is perfect for the Avatar Outfit games if you're trying to do something like that. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to use it, where to download it. It is free as of right now. I don't know if you want to collect it, I would get it now. Um, there is a lot of additions to this. So I'm going to show you guys it. Um, if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We're almost at 58,000 subscribers, you guys. So thank you again. Um, but yeah, so everything is in the description. So you're just going to go down there. Um, you should be able to find it. Um, but yeah, so um, we're going to go into the description now. Um, yeah, like I said, description. I'm uh, sorry, and we're gonna grab this right here. It's gonna take you to the dev form. Um, reason being is I just want to link it over here so you guys can see it. But um, yeah. So basically, we have the page. Uh, it basically kind of talks about what CFS is used for. Um, but it's it's really cool what he has going on here. It's basically a catalog in a UI for Studio that you can import whenever you want. Um, and yeah. So basically, you can go onto here. Um, you hit the get in the creator store and you're going to just download this right here um, Once you do that you can hit try in studio it should be available in your inventory and I'm gonna show you guys how to get it But um, yeah, that's all you need um, Once you get that we're gonna hop into studio and I wanted to explain to you guys basically how this works But um, you may need to go to inventory in my plugins and click it and you might need to hit install Sorry, you can see my freaking screen, but once you do that, um, it's gonna be in your plugin tab up here whatever and it's gonna be a CFS right here. Um, now you can do catalog browser, you can do preferences and you have it our loader. Catalog browser is, um, I don't know why Roblox is like this, but catalog browser is basically allowing you to look through the catalog. You can copy the IDs, you can do whatever you want. You can buy it, you can insert it. It talks you about the price and everything. Um, so my favorite part to this, okay, and I'm gonna explain this was why. If you're making an avatar game, like we've said in the last tutorials, um, you can basically um, just copy the ID straight from here. Um, another thing you can do, so we have a distressed black hat. I can just insert it and I can make sure to copy the ID. And then if I want to, you know, I can just close this out. Maybe I'll put it on the left. So it's perfectly right here. And if I'm going to add this to a character, like I said in the last tutorials, I would just drag and drop it onto the character. Um, so basically, let's say we wanted to inventory, um, in import an avatar. Now, if you go over here, um let's see i think these are friends yes so it actually already has your friends so if you want to get someone's friends avatar you can just click them and you can import them so um if i wanted to grab for example let's say um gigi gigi uh sorry gigi um if i wanted to get hers i can just insert her as an r15 or an r6 so awesome i'm an importer now oh gosh i hate when it does that now there we go <laughs> we have gigi over here so she's donkey that's kind of funny all right, so in here, when you import it, it already has all the humanoid descriptions on it. it. It's already fully made for you. Although, if you are going to add stuff, like I said, so we're going to catalog browser, and let's say we wanted to add um, <clears throat> this glasses. We would insert the glasses, and then once we do that, um, oh my gosh, I don't know why it's doing that. We would just drag it. Oh, okay, nope, oops. We would just drag it on a GG, and it put it on. Now, of course, this doesn't look right because the thing. And then you go to humanoid description and then you would just add that as a face accessory so this makes this a whole process so much e easier for you guys um but yeah let's say if you wanted to actually look at all our stuff that's on the um wait where's that at oh wait well yeah okay wait inspect you can actually inspect it see the ids already so if you want to just copy and paste these you can as well um if i want to look at mine um <clears throat> i can do that um, and things like that. So that's kind of the whole point of this. Now, I hope you guys kind of understand. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, you know, you have the catalog browser. You want to look at different filters. Um, I don't, gosh, this whole auto adjusting stuff. You want to look at different filters, basically. Um, you can do that, like shoulder accessories, things like that. Um, and you can regenerate filter changes by applying it. Um, and yeah, so bundle IDs, asset IDs, 
um, there's a lot you guys can do. Um, and then there is a preferences button. I don't know. Let's see. So I guess if you want to do some stuff, uh, activate transformation tool, ask girls models, include scripts, rig types, enable body bar swapping, um, and then avatar letter, display name, username. Yeah. So you can do certain things like that. Awesome. That's pretty much it. Um, super simple, nothing crazy. Um, I just thought I would show this to you guys because this is a great tool if you're making those avatar games, like I said. Um, and I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this. Just a little simple thing. Um, well done to uh, the creator. Uh, I forgot his name. Sorry. Default. Oh, default boy. EF, E4, F7 or whatever. But awesome job. Wonderful plugin. Um, and yeah, you guys, you can use this to your advantage if you're making any time of avatars and importing rigs. It's very, very useful. Um, but yeah. I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.